Okay, so what we're going to need today is you guys, if you have a band, please grab your band. Um, if you have a heavier dumbbell, that would be preferable. If you only are limited to three half, that's totally fine, it'll still work. Um, and then use your body weight. Uh, the other thing that you might want to consider is like if you have a little, an analytical or a bike at home, that would be awesome. Um, I'm also going to show you some body weight cardio um, in case you don't have one of those. Uh, I'll go around the side if you'd like to. Um, we're going to start with a primer, meaning if you are hopefully you're ready to warm up, but we're continuing to activate your core and the correct muscles um, so that you can have a better workout. So we're going to do side plank and half get up, two rounds, okay? So let me demonstrate both exercises and then we'll get started, right? So side plank, you've seen these before. I want this knee down though, okay? The reason why is because it gets your glute deep and it also gives a deeper um, effectiveness into your oblique. Elbow belief beneath your right shoulder. You're going to push up on your right knee and push your hips forward, okay? So we're going to go exhale, push, squeeze through those lower abs, hold and bring it back down, okay? So we're gonna do 10 on each side. Then we're gonna do what's called a half get up. If you've never done a half get up before, please just bunch up your wrist or, and make a fist, and that's all you're gonna use. If you've done it before, then you can grab a light weight, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate it with no weight, just body weight, um, if you have never done this before. So we're gonna start on our right side first. So right leg up, right palm up. Okay, like a fist, it's always directly above your shoulder. If you ever do this with a weight, it's going to drop up your shoulder. So you want to make sure it's directly over your shoulder. Your left hand drives out, palms towards the ground, uh, 45 degree angle. Okay, first movement, exhale, push, up with your elbow, big chest here. Exhale, push, keep looking at your middle level, all the way up, bring it down, and here. Let me show you the other side. Okay, so this supporting hand is extended, left. Leg up, left wrist up, you're going to slightly turn on your right hip so it makes it easier to twist. We're going to exhale, push through, really move your chest up, keep looking up at the ceiling and then bring it back down, okay? We're going to do five on each side to total up to ten, start back over side planks and then we'll start with the um, main set, okay? So this is a quick and dirty set for you guys. Um, it's a shorter workout, but if you do it right, it can be hard and just as effective as a longer workout, okay? So let's start on our right side. Knee is bent, palm, right palm towards the ground. Knee, um, elbows are even. We're going to push our hips forward, walk back. We're going to squeeze up through our core by squeezing our boots, okay? Inhale down. Exhale, push. Inhale down. Nice job. This is three. And down. Exhale, drive, push, down. Duke's providing some uh, background music for you guys. Okay, long neck. Two more. Exhale, push it up and through. Last one. We're just priming the body right now, okay? So we're going to stay on our right side. We're going to lay down on the ground. If you can, do this with your weight, grab it, but that's only if you've done this before. If you've never done this before, just use your body weight. Right palm faces away from you, directly over your shoulder, right knee is up. Left knee is out and extended, left hand out 45 degrees, slightly twist onto your left hip. Eyeballs never leave your middle knuckle. We exhale, press, big chest, pause. Get the stabilization motion going. Exhale, push up into your palms, come down to your elbow, and then down to your back. Here we go again, exhale, stop at the elbow, get stabilized, up to the palms, keep looking up towards your middle finger, and back down. Okay, here we go, three more. Exhale, push, use your core, big chest, in here, and last two. Exhale, push, squeeze your butt, stop at the elbow, and one more. Exhale, push, look up, Stop that with the elbow, and then switch, okay? So now we're going to move over to our left side. So get onto your left elbow, left knee down on the ground. Okay, even out those elbows and those knees. Push those hips forward. Inhale down. Exhale, push. Put your hand on your low abs for feedback to make sure that you're squeezing all the way up into those obliques and through those low abs. Exhale, push. Extend. Inhale down. Exhale, push. We're halfway on this one. Mm 
Really squeeze at the top. You got two more. Last one. Beautiful. All right, so now we're going to um, do a half get up on your left side, okay? So left arm has the weight, left leg up, slightly to on the right hip, right hand is down, palm down. We're going to exhale, push. Look at your middle finger. Exhale, get into your palm. Relax on your elbow. Roll down your spine. Exhale, push. Don't gain your weight around. Remember, the weight always on top of your shoulder. A few more. Exhale, squeeze your glutes, stop. Exhale again. Inhale down, inhale down, last one. Exhale, push. Stop with the elbow, come to your palm, bring it back down. Good job. All right? So, one more set of this primer. Okay, so go down to your right side again. We're going to do right side plank followed by um, cop get ups. Okay, so here we go. Three, two, one, exhale, push, inhale down. Exhale, tighten. Everything pulls up and down. Three, long neck, chin off of your chest. Halfway. With the seven. Two more. Really exhale and tighten it through. And last one. Okay? Now, five half get ups. Left leg extends. Right knee is bent. Palm faces away from you with your right hand, left hand down the center. Tilt on that left hip. Exhale, push into your elbow, up to your palm, bring it back down, roll down your spine. Okay? Never looking down. This is two. That arm straight. It's okay to drop away if you need to. Good. Okay, using your core, not a jerk of motion, okay? Core, pull up. Last one. Exhale, push. And bring it on down, okay? Now, over to the left side. Elbows, knees, hips all aligned, palms facing down towards the ground. We exhale, push up, squeeze through your core, inhale down. Exhale, push, and down. Remember, hand here for feedback. Bring your chin out of your chest, really feeling that exhale, lift your um, oblique away from the ground. Six. Last one. And we come down. Half get ups, okay? Left palm faces away from your body. Left knee up. Right hand, oops, yeah, left knee up. Right leg down. Tilt into that right hip. Exhale, push to your elbow. Stop to the palm. Stop. Down to the elbow. Pause. Roll down that spine. Good. Exhale, push. I say focus on your dumbbell or on your middle buckle. Always in control. Three more. Exhale, push. Last two. Exhale, push. Inhale down. And last one. Here we go. Exhale, push. And inhale down. Okay, that'll be the longest and slowest part of the workout. Okay? That's good, because we got our muscles activated. We're ready to go. All right? So now, I'm going to show you guys what we have in this little mini circuit. And I'm going to go back and forth between using the bike and the bodyweight exercise. Um, just depending on what you have, you can follow me. Okay? So what we're going to do is grab whatever, the heaviest weight that you have. Um, Either, either weight will do. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do a goblet squat to overhead press. Magic number is 10 today, okay? So, feet are a little bit wider than shoulders apart. Notice how my toes are facing away from the screen. Chin is off my chest. Inhale down, butt way back. 
Exhale, push. Overhead, keeping your elbows tight towards my temple and using momentum on the way up, controlling the core on the way down, okay? So glutes way behind the knees here, okay? 90 degrees, so 10 of those. Then you're gonna do 10 suitcase squats, five on each arm, okay? Toes are now facing forward in a squat position. Inhale down, exhale, push. This really works your obliques and your core because it tries to throw your body off center, okay? So five on each side is what we're gonna do here. Hold this arm out for an isometric hold and balance, okay? The last thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna do five witch hops on each side. So we're gonna squat, push, squat, push, okay? Totaling up to five. Then you're gonna jump on your cardio equipment for a minute or you're gonna do vertical mount climbers for a minute. So these are new. So you guys know what high knees are. So we're gonna start, this is a high knee position. Now to add vertical, we're gonna reach your arms up like you're climbing up a mountain. Okay, but really extend here. Okay, and you really get your heart rate up because you're moving literally every single part of your body. It's tough, okay, it might look stupid, but I promise you it's tough and it'll work you out. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do three rounds of this and then you're done for the day, okay? So here we go. Duke, you ready to count us down? You ready? Here we go in three, two, one. Goblet squats, overhead press. Ready, inhale down, exhale push. But way back, squeeze at the top. Good, all the way up the chain, squeeze it. Three more. Big toe up when you squat. Last one. Good. Okay, suitcase squat. Left hand has the weight. Those are facing forward. We go down. Inhale down. Exhale, push. Big toe up the whole time. So it's three. Really squeeze. This is why I want you guys to go heavy here if you can because it's less reps, okay? Strength is always less reps. Switch sides. Inhale down. Exhale, push. Inhale down, exhale, push. Good, this is three. Last one. Good, okay. Side to side wood chops. Three, let's make it six, because that's uneven, okay? So, we're gonna do six on each side. Oh wait, no, five on each. Five on each side. Losing my brain, all right, here we go. Down, exhale, push, this is one. Squeeze all the way through, make it quick. As soon as you're down, you're up. Exhale, push. Last one. Woo. All right, good. So jump on your cardio machine if you have it. I'm gonna start with my body weight people who don't have cardio weights at home. If you don't wanna do your cardio, you can do vertical mount climbers with me. We got one minute here, no rest until the end of three. Two, one, let's go. So on these, you really want to reach your arm as high as you can, okay? No bend until it comes down. Knees as high as you can. Cardio people, this is a sprint for a whole minute. So get your gears up if you need to to get your heart rate up. Halfway. Go, Duke. Go, buddy. Final 15, everybody, bring it up. Let's go. Climb that mountain, we got 10. Three, two, and one. Now it's time to rest. We only got 30 seconds. We're doing it again. Okay. So, big breath, drink the water. Yeah, Duke, good job, buddy. Okay, here we go. Five seconds for moving, back to goblet squat to overhead press. If you don't have a heavy weight, really accentuate the power up, okay? Here we go, in three, two, one, let's hit it. Inhale down, exhale, push, squeeze. Two. Three. 
Two more. Good. All right, no stopping. All right, in the suitcase squat, on the left side, toes are facing forward. Inhale down, exhale, squeeze. Inhale down, everything tenses, including your inner thighs. Last one, and we switch. Okay, here we go. Inhale down, exhale, tighten. Last one. And we go into wood chops in three, two, one. Inhale down, exhale, push. Eight. Really twist that toe to get that oblique. And cardio. Three, two, one. Let's go. One minute. Okay, if you're not feeling it on this mountain climber, you gotta pick the speed. You can even go laterally if you wanna add in some more challenges. Or you can stay put. People on the bikes, last 30, let's move. Nicely done today. I'll see you guys on Friday. Good work. <laughs>